In one month's time, 11th of September, the judge will deliver a verdict in the Oscar Pistorius trial to decide whether or not he is guilty of premeditated murder. Today, the defense summed up their closing argument. Essentially, what they are saying is that Oscar Pistorius is a tragic hero, a man who is extremely vulnerable on his stumps, that he has lived his entire life with this disability, and that has made him excessively aware of danger and in many ways have an exaggerated response to danger. The defense remarkably and rather astoundingly invoked the idea of the slow burn that a woman who has been repeatedly abused might feel. Say, for example, a woman who was abused for many years by her husband, that would eventually lead to her maybe trying to kill him. Barry Rue said this was exactly the same in Oscar Pistorius's case. Over the years, he was a child, born without legs. He suffered from his disability. He was constantly told he wasn't the same, that he couldn't run anywhere, that he had no legs, and that this led to the slow burn, that eventually, in this instance, when he was approached by danger, he didn't run away but approach the danger. It was the slow burn effect, the result of years of abuse because of his disability. The judge didn't seem too impressed with this line of questioning, though, and interrupted to ask exactly how were they similar rather ironic in many ways, considering that it is Women's Day this weekend, that he would use that kind of argument in a country that has such high rape and child abuse statistics. Barry Rue then went on to poke holes in the state's argument, saying that their baker's dozen, Nell's 13 facts, which he says are uncontested in this case, um, are not very good at all. In fact, Barry Rue's comment was, if that is a baker's dozen, I don't want to eat those cookies. He ripped into the neighbor's testimony, saying that they were inconsistent, that the state's case was muddled, and went blow by blow through a timeline and actually used the neighbors who testified for the state to back up his argument. This went on for much of the day, and the result was that the judge eventually said thanks to both the defense and the prosecution for assisting in this matter. She will return on the 11th of September to deliver her verdict. Sentence will follow very shortly after that if she finds Oscar Pistorius guilty. If he is found not guilty, of course, the case ends there. Should Oscar Pistorius be found guilty of murder, his defense is very likely to appeal this, in which case he would remain out of jail for that entire time.